Welcome to Business Authority Radio, bringing you insights from today's thought leaders, professionals, and influencers with your hosts, Neil Howe and Craig Williams. Hello and welcome to the show. The bar is open for business. We are back. Uh, This is episode number 101. Uh, I'm your host, Neil Howe, and I'm here together with uh, Craig Williams. Welcome, Craig. How's it going, buddy? Glad to be back at the Business Authority Radio. Tomorrow, yes, right? we we are open. Uh, you know whether whether the governor says that we can be in business or not. I, I don't know right <laughs> now. It's a, a it's a strange time that we're living in, uh, but the world has definitely changed and it is changing. And we certainly want to have that conversation here at the bar. Uh, you know what do you see? Obviously, we've got this global pandemic with the coronavirus and the COVID nineteen scare. Uh, what do you see, Craig, uh, you know, happening? What do you feel from the people that you have talked to in business specifically? You know, how has this all affected them? I think for the business, what we call business person, they're becoming sharper because they have to use skills that they haven't used in a while. Uh, they've usually, uh, I, I guess you could say, relied on the process or the system that they were hired into. Mm. And now they have to be a bit more creative like entrepreneurs. You know, there's a difference between business people and entrepreneurs. And entrepreneurs are those innovators, those creators, those who take all of the risk and really don't have anything to fall back on. And so I think a lot of the business people are, are starting to flex their entrepreneurial muscle, so to speak, and really rely on what their value that they really uh, brought to the table when they interviewed for that job, so to speak, you know, and business is going, uh, I don't care what level you look at it, business is going into that entrepreneurial way, as we understand. I mean, right. us being entrepreneurs, you're having to pivot a little bit more. I mean, you have to wait on the news to know whether you could go to the store or whether you could go to work or, you know, you, you know, that type of thing. So if yeah. you have to wait, those things that we might have taken for granted for uh, for a while we we're looking at a little bit more at wait a minute i have to i don't have the i have to homeschool my kids today you know mm. i've got to carve out that time i've got to manage my time a little bit better than i did before when i went to work maybe and started looking at my social media for the first hour and then i went and took a bathroom break and then i came and started working you know what i'm saying so there's a, I mean, and then everybody's, everybody's serious about working because everybody's not sure if work is going to be available as it was. So there is a new norm now. Yeah, right. definitely. Yeah, there, there's definitely a lot to talk about here. There's so many issues, and it's not just the health issue that people are worried about. The bigger thing, I think, is the fear that this has caused uh, throughout our country and, and throughout the world, uh, the mass hysteria, I think the the message that is coming from the mainstream media is all fear based, and it's putting people in a place that is not healthy. Um, you know, we are looking at the government to you know send us stimulus checks now. Uh, we've got millions and millions of people out of work at this current time. I think what twenty two million people uh, filed for unemployment just last month alone. Uh, yeah, and yeah. those and those numbers are just going up. So, you know, what's going to happen when uh, the country opens uh, up for business? And I know, um, you know, Trump yesterday was talking about uh, the three different stages that we would have to go through to to open up for business. But you know, can businesses just start? back you know without skipping a beat or are there going to be that ripple effect from you know closing down getting rid of all their employees uh, and being you know out of work for for so long what do you see as you know the effects going down the road of uh, being closed for so long I, I think it goes back to that skills uh knowledge and the health mm. the health of the person the health of their their finances, the health of their household, their skill set that they, like I said, we talked about that earlier. It was our skill sets 
that got us into a, a, a vocation or a business or an opportunity. And it's, it's really coming down to the bare bones of, I mean, there have been companies that I've, I, I know that they've approached their employees, uh, one of the airlines approached their employees and said, hey, um, what do you all think about taking off without pay? And because they believed in their employer, they were willing to take off without pay to save their business as a whole. And this is an airline, mm. you know, and, and, but their ability, their confidence of 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 the knowledge that they had, they knew that they could probably go out into the marketplace and survive the knowledge they had prior to the pandemic of putting some money away, having those behaviors that put you in a position of power or, or being able to control some of your destiny, as opposed to leave it in the government's hands or leave it in someone else's hands. These types of things, uh, it gets down to the, I mean, you said Trump had these three different things, well, we have three different things here on this, in this conversation, and, that, and that's your skill level that creates your authority and your knowledge base of the business or opportunity that you're offering or have offered uh, to your customer, your customer base, and how healthy it is to progress them in getting what they want and helping them elevate their business or their vision. So it's going to, I mean, we're really back to the foundation, but, you know, we like that. Yeah, we we do foundational. That's all we do is foundational work. Right. And no matter what you build on a foundation, as long as the foundation is sure and steady, the you know, the, the edifice, the building, the career, the job can be torn down, and you can start right back up. You know, it's mm. just a little bit more work yeah. to build on, and you and you're going to consider a little bit more than you did before. So I think that's what it's it's boiled down to. Well, I'm going to point out a few problems that I see and uh, play a bit of a devil's advocate and, you know, really, uh, you know, so that you can answer, Craig, some some of the, the ways that we can find solutions to these problems. But uh, there there's two things that, that I see is that I think about 40% of the population you know, doesn't have 400 bucks in their bank account that can can see them through any kind of length of time. Uh, and they're the general service workers that, you know, have been laid off. They're working in restaurants or, you know, they're cleaning hotels and, uh, you know, cleaning jobs or, or something like that. Um, you know, now, you know, they're in a position to where they don't have the money coming in. They They are really struggling. And the government is sending them a little bit of money. Now, how long do you think the government can continue to send people money to pay their bills without, you know, the, the money running out or the the country, you know, turning into a complete welfare economy? Well, I mean, we know of, I mean, we, we work from, our government works from a deficit. They just have the, the luxury of calling the Federal Reserve and say, hey, we need you to print some more money. At the same time, that devaluates the money that's out there in circulation. So it's not about really that even that person, uh, if they're relying on that, they're dependent. They're going to be a part of uh, a bigger problem later on. And you have to almost really choose to say, hey, am I going to be a victim or am I going to take hold and take back the power of my economic uh, future of my I mean, because because we can't. And it's, it's, it's just that, like you said, the welfare uh, system is comprised of two parties. One who is creating it to, for dependents to hop on, and the other is not victims, but individuals who choose to be the dependent as opposed to being independent. And none of us work as an island. We're all humanity. And all of us have a circle of influence. All of us have family. All of us have some friends. We have somewhere that we could go and share value because that's what we were doing before this. And, you know, it, it, it may come out to be a, a different, create, more creative or innovative type of way. If I have to go over here and help my neighbor do something that helps them further and they remember me and consider me in whatever they're moving forward in, if there's an opportunity here and I share this, it's going to, it's going to take a collective. Uh, it's going to, it takes a collective when you have the government and you have the dependents. There's a collective. 
you have to kind of create what what you want the future to be. We've already been through times where there was a welfare, the, the Great Depression and people out of work. I mean, we're in America, the land of opportunity. Are we going to buy into that? Or are we going to go back to, you know, creating an old history that didn't work before, i.e. dependency on the government, dependency on some type of welfare uh, platform to bring us back up as opposed to us bringing ourselves back up. And if we need help, get past the ego and the pride and ask for help from those around you. You know, mm. those people, those your, your buddies that you went to go drink with or your buddies that you went to go play ball with or whatever that story was, it's time to go back to those folks and say, hey, can, what can we collectively do together? And I'll tell you one thing that everybody has individually. I don't care how much money you make or don't have. We all have a story. That's true. And we all have access to social media. And there's so many mediums. I mean, I'm not going to name them because they're not sponsoring this show. But there are so many mediums that you could use to get your story out. Not go beg, not plead and and cry yourself a river, but tell your specific story of, what your value was before you lost your job, what you think your value is now, and share how hungry you are to come and help somebody else who has something that's moving along, who has yeah. something that they're needing some help with to start up. And that goes back to the skills, your knowledge that you have, your perspective is different than anyone else's. And the help that you bring to the table is the energy that you bring to the ta- mm. table. And that's the healing part of whatever you're going to be a part of whether it is a welfare system or not. There are so many problems that are going to be in our future going ahead that, you know, only entrepreneurs, I think, are going to take us out of this. And it's people with the ideas, with the knowledge, with the skills that are going to come together and create something that our country needs is what's going to get us out of here. So we're really, we're really looking for people that, you know, have those skills. And if, you, if you're sitting at home right now watching Netflix and eating junk food and you're not working on your skills and increasing your knowledge, you know, it's, it's not going to be a comfortable future, I don't think, uh, for you. So, you know, but we do want to hear from those people that have skills and have the knowledge that are going to be able to help uh, people solve their problems. You know, we want to have you on the show and be able to talk through some of those things because there's a lot happening uh, in the world right now and there's going to be a huge need uh, for problem solvers, um, you know, in the the weeks, the months and the years to come because I don't think we're getting out of this uh, anytime soon. You know, I know that the news media are saying, hey, we're, we're going to get back to normal, but it's going to be a new normal. You know, it's, it's, it's going to be completely different than what, it has been and what we're all used to. So uh, I believe there's difficult times ahead. Uh, we certainly need to reach out to those people that um, have solutions and we want to talk to you. So if you want to reach out to us, uh, you can reach out at facebook.com forward slash business authority radio. Uh, you can talk to us there. Uh, Craig, uh, any parting words for this episode? I know we've got so much more to talk about here. Most definitely, as as Neil said, I mean, and I'm sure it'll be in the, the links will be in the show notes of how to get in touch with us or how to uh, enroll yourself in a conversation with us to share uh, some solutions. I mean, we could talk about the. I mean, we hear about the problems all the time, but we, we're very solution oriented at, at Business Authority Radio because we're dealing with those uh, thought leaders and authorities in their different industry uh, or or their their vocation. And we're about solutions. So, um, I mean, if you feel you're that person that uh, has something to say that the world basically needs to hear, uh, not just the business world, but the world needs to hear because you have to have some business about yourself and how you uh, relate that to the world, whether it be entrepreneurial or process and procedures or best practices or corporately, you know, we're just looking for the result. And the result is a payout of healthy healthy lives, healthy businesses, a healthy world, you know? So, uh, yeah, I, I'm, um, I, I've said enough, I'm sure for this episode, but, um, I'm looking forward to, to, uh, sharing more and hearing more, not so much just talking, but hearing what you have to say 
uh, about uh, how you're going to get back on your feet and get your companies moving forward, how you are maintaining and sustaining the vision that you already created. And uh, we, we want to be a part of helping, helping with that. Mm. Well, that is it. Uh, so much more to talk about, but the bar is always open. Uh, we are open for business. And if you have a business idea that you want to share uh, that is going to help people solve problems, make sure that you visit us at facebook.com forward slash business authority radio. And if you like what you hear, hit that like button and share. And we will see you next time at the bar. You've been listening to Business Authority Radio with Neil Howe and Greg Williams. To learn more about the resources mentioned in today's show or to listen to past episodes, visit businessauthorityradio.com.